Have you ever participated in an artist trading card swap and received all these beautiful little pieces of art and inspiration and thought to yourself, what am I going to do to store these where I have easy access to them to reference back when I'm looking for ideas? Well, I found that both in facilitating and in participating in swaps. I'm facilitating one, and I wanted to sort these cards out and provide them to the participants in a mechanism or a booklet that will help them with the storage. I have chosen to create a little ATC holder and I am utilizing my scraps to cover the outside. So I've pulled from my scrap bin. These are the gel press roll-offs or catch papers that I often Uh, utilize when I am in a gel press printing session and I save those. Now I have some just basic chipboard that I have pulled out cut at a three and a half by four and a half inch diameter. I've cut two of those and I also cut the spine at the one inch width. I am adhering them together with just plain masking tape to secure them in position for me to get the cover placed on. So make sure that they are covered with the tape on on both sides. And once I have those taped together, you will see that we have formed this nice little booklet that is long enough and wide enough to house our ATC cards. In this particular swap, there were 10 cards. So that's why I chose that one inch spine I think that width will be appropriate for holding the 10 cards that I'm getting ready to send out. This is one of my catch papers. I am trimming off the edges to remove the bulk there at the corners. I have some book binding glue I'm putting onto the chipboard to adhere that into place and I decided it would probably be a little bit easier to cut those corners when I had it glued in place rather than having it slide all around and having my corners cut willy-nilly if if that's a term but let's just trim those corners off and then we will just wrap this like a package so I'm going to fold the outside edges or the long edges in first I found that works a little easier for me. So folding those in and gluing them down. And with my bone folder, I'm going to push that corner in just to make that a nice, clean, finished corner covered in this paper. I'm just making sure that everything is is glued down well. And once again, taking that bone folder to turn those little edges in. And now what you see is, is just a cover that we've used a scrap piece of paper and created an outside cover for this booklet. So now that I have that done, I'm going to set that aside and allow that glue to really dry and set up before I manipulate it any further. I'm using this time to get the accordion fold put together to hold the cards into place. And I saw this folder created over on, I believe it was Teresa Morgan's channel, and she did this exact same thing used in an accordion fold. She scored hers at a half inch and then she taped her ATCs to the accordion fold. I don't want to make them permanent in this booklet. I just want it to be a mechanism that I can send them with. So I have scored my accordion fold at one inch and I'm going to glue those mountain peaks which will sturdy up and give me the spot 
to just drop those cards down in between each of these peaks on that accordion fold, which will hold them into place. And then I can close this booklet up and secure it with a tie. So stick with me and and we will get this completed shortly. Now, because I have 10 cards, I cut two links of this. I used an eight and a half by 11 inch piece of black cardstock, scored the whole thing, and then cut it to the size that I needed or the width that I needed, which I just didn't really measure it. I just placed it up against that inside spine and kind of cut it so that I had a good half inch, three quarters inch uh, from the top. And now I'm going to glue each of those edges, that outside accordion, and glue those down, and I'm going to set that aside and let it dry. And once that sets up, I will put my tie in. And I'm using Sari Silk on this one. I use ribbon on a couple of others because I make 10 of these. And I'll show you all 10 at the end. But this one will have the Sari Silk. So I've opened that Sari Silk up to make it flat. I've cut two sheets um, one quarter of an inch smaller than the outside dimension of the book. And I'm going to pl- put those into place as my end sheets, clamping it down over the top of that uh, sorry silk just to make sure that it the glue holds tight or grabs tight to that sorry silk. I don't want any gap there when I go to close these. And then I'll set that aside once again just to dry. But I can't resist the uh, opportunity to kind of stick those cards down in and make sure that it's going to work. And as you can see, I'm just putting the 10 cards that are associated with this particular swap into this folder. And you can see I'll be able to uh, shut that up and uh, have those secured in there. I'm just stamping ATC on the back cover and there you have it. We tie it. And there is your nice little holder for 10 ATC cards. Make that accordion bigger, the spine bigger to hold more. But I thought this would be a really nice way to ship out this swap and kind of surprise the ladies that are receiving them. So thank you so much for being here. I have put a couple of other videos that I thought you might like here on my in screen and I know you saw that like button throughout the video I hope you hit that and helped YouTube to 